my project overall is pretty much in that space of people not seeing what I'm what I'm doing completely, uh, and it's partially intentional, and it's 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 partially me playing with the reality of that situation. Um, obvious things that people gravitate towards, such as like my bright colors and high contrast between the black line work and all that. Uh, but there's reasons why I'm doing all these that I feel like they're not like missed, they're just, and it doesn't bother me that they're missed. It's not like I'm like, oh, I wish people got that. I, I think it helps if you get it. But um, for me, the idea is to make a complete painting to me. work just kind of came out of a cathartic release. It was a space for me to paint the way I wanted to paint without thinking. It was a space um, to kind of try to figure out where I came from artistically and where I wanted to go. Like I said, it was uh, much more organic and, and I wanted to keep it that way. I didn't want to have to overthink things because I was on the side making work where all I was doing was trying to figure out the strategies and relate it to history and all that. This kind of formula for, for trying to understand things. But it was also, you know, that work also came out of a genuine interest in having a conversation in that structure, you know, a structure that is more a gallery context in some way, or a museum context of this is what qualifies as, as what is deemed as a successful video piece or something like that. And when it comes to the murals and the paintings, um, what, what meant success to me was a personal sense of fulfillment that came from it, um, and not uh, some type of other qualifier that came from another place. So these figures started off as kind of uh, very like, like a diary almost, like they were like moments of my life or things I was thinking or struggling. And, and in that way, they could be seen as very angsty and, and filled with kind of uh, emotional tension. And I, I've spoken about that recently, like I did an interview where I was talking about them as and creating them as kind of this like ritual tradition in some way, like an older sense of magic that comes into art, this sense that you can make something and it can take away something for you. You can trap this feeling in it. And in that way, it was kind of like what I was doing with these murals and these live paintings. It was like, here is this feeling I have, and I'm going to trap it in this art piece so I don't have to deal with it anymore. So it can live frozen in time in this way. Like, and, you know, um, and it, would, it was like my, my personal martyrs in that way. Like they, would, they were dying for me in some way. Yeah, I have those moments all the time where I'm painting. And recently what's been a big thing for me is looking at the brush itself and being kind of really weirded out by looking at this very basic tool, being like this little cluster of hairs made that. Like, how, you know? Like, how is it that this water and color and this little brush, like hairs, could make the Sistine Chapel, you know? like plaster and pigment and water and we have Sistine Chapel you know the same and I think that's also why I like murals a lot is because there's also there's that like whoa this is huge <laughs> you know it's like this is so big and it and, and it sits on top of uh, a surface but I think part of being human is like our brain has been thankfully uh, fixed in a way that we can't process what's really happening most of the time because if we did we would just explode it's just like if I if we were holding all the thoughts about how everything we are in right now is like this absolute miracle this absolute incredible phenomena of nature it's like to even begin to think about it conceptually it's overwhelming let alone understand the actual physical makeup of what it is yeah, yeah, yeah.